Hi, I'm Chef Tony Matassa, the corporate chef for BarbecueGuys.com. Today I'll show you how to make grilled frog legs on an outdoor barbecue. We'll begin by making the marinade. Start with some white wine, a little fresh chopped parsley, twist that together a little bit, the zest of one lemon. Squeeze in the juice of one fresh lemon. I'll whisk in a little coarse salt. Some fresh cracked black pepper. A little cayenne pepper. Some sliced shallots. And with the garlic cloves, we'll make a little garlic paste. Now, with a garlic card, it's super simple to make garlic paste. You just literally start out with a clove, rub it like this, and in no time, you have this paste which will infuse in your food better than minced or chopped or any other kind of garlic, basically, except for maybe pressed. Now we will use some garlic paste. We'll add a little Dijon mustard. And the Dijon mustard is going to give us some good flavor, but it's also going to help to emulsify our marinade a little bit and keep everything together, because now we're going to finally drizzle in some olive oil while whisking. Whisk it together until it all sort of pulls together. Now for the frog legs, all I did was use some poultry shears to split the pairs apart, so they're all single like this. It's almost like buffalo wings, but with frog legs. We'll add this to the marinade, toss to coat, and then place in the refrigerator for two to three hours. When you're ready to grill, remove from the refrigerator, let them sit at room temperature for 20, 30, 35 minutes while preparing your grill. You'll want a nice, hot, direct heat flame. We'll just put these straight on the grids. Just wanna kinda of shake them off a little bit so they're not soaking wet. That. That's what I'm talking about right there. You want to do, grill them hot and fast. While we're doing that, we'll go ahead and knock our sauce out as well. There's some diced shallots. Just want to let those grill up a little bit and kind of get kind of uh, browned and fragrant. We'll just close the hood and check back in about a minute and a half. All right, the frog legs have been on about two minutes. Yeah, they're looking good. Once your shallots are lightly cooked, just a little bit sweated, a little browned up, and they're smelling really fragrant. They smell great out here. It's time to add some minced garlic. You just wanna let this cook for maybe 30 seconds or so. You don't wanna cook the garlic too long and then deglaze with white wine. We'll close the lid and let the wine reduce with the sauce until it's reduced about half. We will remove the frog legs and finish up the sauce. Once the wine's reduced a little, we'll add some fresh chopped parsley. Let that cook just for a minute or two and we will finish the sauce off with some diced butter. Once your sauce has reduced, begin melting some softened, unsalted butter. You want to let it melt down until it's just melted. And with your last batch, you want to remove it and swirl it around until it's just melted. Top your frog legs. And this is how you make grilled frog legs on an outdoor barbecue. I'm Chef Tony Matassa for BarbecueGuys.com.